Alright YouTube, what's up? I'm finally making a video after about a month or so, I guess, you know. I'm pretty lazy at making fucking videos, but I'm gonna make a little tutorial here to help some of you guys and some of you younger folks who don't understand, uh, cause you probably all run into this issue every time you boot your, uh, 360, whether it's your RGH, dev kit even, if some of you don't have one of those. It wants to change its uh, IP address, it's like whenever you try to find the neighborhood, it has a different IP now. So then you have to go and uh, change that, which is really fucking annoying, I understand. So I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, remedy that issue, and uh, not ever have to fucking search for it again. This is also very helpful if you have multiple, you know, RGHs, or consoles. You can set them all to the same IP address, as long as they ain't connected to the internet at the same time. And you ain't, you just plug them into your computer every time, as long as they're named the same thing, they'll all connect the neighborhood automatically, you never gotta touch it. Which is really fucking cool, but yeah, we're gonna show you how to do that, this doesn't matter, this is my XDK, it was already plugged in when I went to go make the video, also, kinda wanted to flex a little, not gonna lie, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I just don't wanna, really honestly, I didn't wanna unplug it. So, um, yeah, it doesn't matter, the same shit's on the dashboard, I will show you where it is on the dashboard after I get through explaining it and showing you why. But yeah, here we go. So, all you gotta do, you're really just setting your IP address on your console, the manual. So, you'll find this all on the dashboard, and I'll show you when I get down, it'll say the exact same shit. Just this isn't the dashboard, this is the dev kit bullshit. You're gonna set your IP address to manual, you're gonna set it to whatever 192 IP you want, it's going to be in that exact format, just the two numbers on the end, instead of 66, you can put whatever you want, or you can put 66, you can copy this actually exactly, and it'll work, because I know uh, most of y'all do this, because y'all like to share connection with computer, so you can use a VPN on your uh, console, so that's why, that's why I have to do this, now, your subnet mass is going to be that 255, 255, and 255.0, it's going to be that every time, even if you're not doing this, it's the same thing always. Now your gateway, since you're sharing connection between your laptop and your console for VPN or just because you don't have a wireless adapter or whatever, it's always going to be that uh, .1 IP address. It's going to be in that same format because that is your laptop, it's not your router. So yeah, it's always going to be that. And um, as long as you set it like this up, it should you should be able to search your console by name and neighborhood. There has been a few occasions though to where I haven't been able to do that after doing this, but almost every time it works, so that's fucking great. But yeah, you should be able to do that, it shouldn't change the IP address anymore, and it should be all good to go. But I will show you where it is on the dashboard, so you can, uh, for you guys who obviously probably don't have an XDK that are watching this, can, uh, do this yourself. Uh, let me scroll all the way over here. Network settings. Configure network, and then you can go here. <coughs> automatic. You don't want to set it to automatic. I don't know why I clicked automatic. My bad. You're going to click manual. And all you're going to do is look at that same shit that I just showed you. I will put the IP addresses and shit to the format to follow in the bottom of the video. So if you don't remember from the beginning of the video, you'll now know after this. You're just basically going to fill in the same shit, though. IP address. It's going to be that 192.168.137 whatever two numbers you want to put. Subnet mass is going to be that 255 number. It's really long. I ain't repeating it. And the gateway is always going to be that 192.168.137.1 IP because that is your laptop. And that's all you got to do. Your console should not ever fucking uh, be reassigned a new IP after booting. And yes, I'm on a dev kit and I'm online on a server that is only for me and my friends. So... I've actually been lasting a, uh, over, like, I think a month now. It's been since, like, December 5th or so close to a month. No, it's actually more than a month. I don't fucking know. It was in the November, beginning of December when we got all this up and working, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't have to fucking explain that because I don't care. It's only for me and my friends, so... I don't think he got that working yet, no. But it's in the menu. But there's some offensive language in our fucking menu, so I'm not opening it up. <laughs> I've had to record, I've had to redo this video about five times because fucking, uh, my friend likes to, uh, have jokes that aren't very funny. But no, they're fucking great. Jacob, you do a great job if you watch this. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you, uh, fix this. And that's how you get your console's IP address, which is an RGH, dev kit, whatever. You can get it online. 
and that's it. I hope you all, uh, this helps some of y'all, and, uh,